Hey, what's up, bro? Speed 711 here. It's game game time. We're taking a look at this Naruto How to Complete the Quest in the Hidden Leaf Village. When you complete all the quests, you make it to the Nine Tailed Beast. Does it unlock something extra? I'm not sure yet. So let's take a look at this. So when you first go into the normal creative welcome hub, I don't know if there's some quests or challenges, or whatever, hidden around here, but I couldn't figure it out. But it is quite large, so there is a lot of places to hide things, so I have to explore that further. But there was a store interface, so I'm going to go ahead and purchase one of these bundles. So I can be more prepared to look at this hub. Alright, so once you get geared up, you can launch into the public matchmaking within the hub or from the uh, launch interface in the game. It's kind of confusing at first. It's not very intuitive. You see this quest board. Just explore around a little bit and eventually figure out you can fly. Fast travel around. There's some consumables and things you can pick up. Like noodles, get some spicy slurp juice, but eventually make your way back to the quest board. And what it is, you can see there's several quests here. If you read one, like a launch quest one, it says go speak to Naruto. So come in his little dojo hut, make your way to him, following the marker. Each character gives you a different mission. So Naruto said we have to collect scrolls around the map. It shows us what a scroll looks like. We have to find five scrolls. You see using the fly ability, you can get to them pretty quick. Uh, there's a lot going on and they look a lot like the ramen noodles and everything else. So mark my spray board. I'll clip out where the five scroll locations are in this. So if there's one or two you couldn't find, maybe this would be helpful. I'll crop out a lot of everything else. The scroll locations. I think I got one more. Let's see. Let's hop of this little sale stand. Right. Found all the scrolls, return back to Naruto. So you get the quest from the quest board, and after you complete a request, you go to the reward room, and you can open a scroll, and it takes you to an unlocked area where you can see what your reward is. Uh, I was expecting something in game. I'm not really sure. We'll get some rewards later. I don't really know how this works. So I'm just kind of hacking my way through this. So bear with me. Post a comment if you know how to do something extra. And I'm sure we'll get updated as things progress as people explore and figure more out. Right, came into Naruto, secret area. So in the reward room, this message tells you to complete the quest to unlock hidden areas around the map and artwork as well. So let's look into that. All right, now I'm back to the quest board. So Kakashi's training. Kick off that quest. Mark a shade where to go. Follow the markers over to the side of the map. Alright. I want you to attack these combat dummies and mark them with spray paint or paint bottles, whatever that is. Alright, that's a hit. So we have to hit these combat dummies around the map. This guy's trying to help me find some of them. If you find one, just throw paint on it. That's a hit. 
you can't hit the same ones over, so you have to find each individual dummy. And the markers, you can't see them from too far away, so it's not like you can fly to the top of the map and see all the markers at once. So you have to be sort of in the proximity for the indicator to pop up. Once you find them, throw the paint on them. And if you haven't hit it before, to say that's a hit. Tells me I've completed that by marking all the dummies. I need to go back over here and talk to him to complete the quest and unlock the reward. Great! Alright, we got that unlocked. Let's go see what Kakashi's reward area was. his scroll. Now at the end of the video, I showed me going into these because there are a few things in here like there's some things on the floor right there that you can interact with. Each one's got a little message. And if you can't walk back into the hub, it gives you a rift portal. Left your rift back out. Go to the quest board again. Quest 3 for Sakura. So, she's been making some medicinal herbs that we need to deliver around the village. At first, I was trying to pick them up to figure out where they are, but what it is is there are certain doors marked on the map. You go up to them and interact, and you're the delivering the supplies. So find all those markers, interact on the doors, deliver her five supplies, and that'll complete her quest. So and these are rather difficult to find. But everything's pretty much in the open, so if you figure out the pattern, how to run around the hub, pretty much knock all these quests out pretty quick. I just run around looking for the mar markers, because flying, they get more confusing. Keep going back to the same ones over and over again as you lose track of where you're flying to. After you've delivered the supplies to the five doors, it tells you to return to her, speak to her again, unlock the reward area. Let's go check out this reward. Sakura's reward. the quest board. Susuke. Susuki. Susuke. I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm the Japanese. Naruto. Susuke. Sakura. Alright. Now we've initiated his quest. to find clues around the map. You see the, the blue marker indicator come up, interact on it. Let's find the clue. So if you find all these blue markers for the clues, come up to them, interact on them. of Suzuki's quest. Alright, another clue. Let's see, we're solving the mystery. Would have got away with it if it wasn't for those meddling kids. One more. Looks like someone got murdered. Ninja attack. Interact. You found a clue. That was the last clue. We found all the clues. Let's go back and talk to Suzuki. Let's say complete the quest for all the characters and unlock a, a fifth area. 
So now this area is large, and at the end of the video, I come in here and explore to it because if you fly up, I think it's kind of glitched out to where you can explore beyond this. And I wound up under the original map, and then as I walked to it, I wound up back on the map again. So that was kind of weird. So look at that at the end of the video if you're interested in that. I might explore that more later. There's, it looks like some, there's some hidden areas in there. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, let's go back to the quest board again. Launch quest 5. It tells you to go speak to Naruto again. And Naruto thanks you for helping. Let's see the nine-tailed beast unlock an additional reward area. Before I approach and interact on that to get the shaka. Let's go read this message and look at this little artwork over here. want to unleash this power can you handle it I don't know man kind of sketchy but hey let's see what it's all about I was thinking we were gonna get this glider but I don't think that's the case I think you can only get the glider by biting in the atom shop so I'm not really sure what this achieves did we get some in-game loading screens I'm not sure so just an advertisement for the paper crafts that they have available to download online. Don't know. But hey, if you know more, post a comment. All right. Well, like I said, after this, I'm going to go back in and look at some of these reward areas because there is one where you can fly around. Go back to the quest board. You can see how the quests are now marked complete. You're a true ninja. Thanks for your help. All right. Back to the reward area. After I spray this board. All right, so I mentioned there were some things here. It looks like you can interact on them, but you can't. So I'm not sure if there's something more to do. If you know, post a comment. And then the other one was in Suzuki's area such a large open world so this goes on for some time I was just exploring around and it goes on for several minutes here I'm not going to talk through the whole thing just to recap you know, as you're gliding up you can start seeing some other areas unlock and I saw this marker across the map so I started going toward it and then I see some other areas start rendering in. And I saw another player's name out there. So I, there could be all kind of stuff hidden all over here. Is this a glitch? Are you not supposed to be able to get here? I don't know. But anyways, I wound up going over to that marker. And I wound up back inside the creative hub again. So I'm not sure what all could be hidden around here. So it might be worth exploring later. But all right, Brian, if you find something really cool, post a comment. Let us know. Appreciate you. Good luck with it.